gives us our 2.5, which is this number here. Notice we're not re represented it as a percent here. We're represented it as a decimal 2.5. What that means is, of course, if we take this number over this number, this is what we're going to owe within a year. This is kind of like what we have uh, to in order to pay it in somewhat liquid form, being current assets. Then we can pay this balance over two and a half times with those assets and again those are those assets aren't just cash of course because we don't have enough cash to pay off the the current liability but we do believe that the receivables will turn over hopefully in like 30 days and that the inventory will be sold and turn over in a relatively short time as well and therefore we should have enough current assets hopefully to pay off those current liabilities and they will be converted into cash in a short enough time now, if we're worried about how short the time will be that things like the receivables will turn over and the machine and the inventory will turn over. So if we want to have a more restrictive test, we could say, I'm not just going to take the current assets here. I'm going to take the quick assets and quick assets will be more restrictive. Notice that they are now eliminating the inventory. So now we're only talking about cash. We're talking about receivables, things that should turn over within 30 days, depending on how, what, what type of business transactions we have. And therefore, we've lowered the uh, numerator and the denominator will stay the same. So the numerator is now at quick assets and the denominator is still at the current liabilities. Therefore, this number will always be less than uh, the current assets. So the quick assets will always be a smaller number and it's going to be the 1.4. What we're taking are the quick assets 168 divided by the 